Earlier this year, to get the job I now have, I interviewed for senior software engineering roles at companies like Meta, OpenAI, Databricks, and Netflix, and many more. I learned a lot throughout the process about what worked and what didn't. Continuing my series where I talk about my journey interviewing at different companies, today's video is about Meta. Hi friends, I'm Maddie. I'm a senior software engineer who previously worked at Google and intern at Amazon, IBM, and Microsoft. Today, I'm breaking down exactly how I landed a Meta interview and what the entire process really looks like. In this video, I'll share the exact strategy I used to get noticed by meta recruiters and how you can use the same approach to land interviews at Fang or other top tech companies. We'll go through each interview round, compensation you can realistically expect, and I'll share what types of questions and concepts you should study and the prep strategy that finally worked, including the eight topics you absolutely need to master. In an upcoming video, I'll also be sharing the exact resume that got me these interview calls, so make sure you're subscribed for that. And here's the thing, Meta's bar is incredibly high. They reject 95% of candidates, but once you understand and their system, you can drastically improve your odds. So first, let's talk about getting the recruiter to notice you. Getting a meta interview isn't about applying through their careers page. That's basically like throwing your resume into a black hole. First, definitely reach out for a referral if you know anyone that has worked at Meta. This will greatly increase your chances of getting a call. I myself also updated my LinkedIn to open to work for recruiters, something that I had never done before and was hesitant to do so because it felt vulnerable and I didn't know if a recruiter in my previous job might happen upon my profile and then know that I was looking elsewhere. I also updated my LinkedIn, added more detail about what I'd done at Google and my other previous roles, and this made a huge difference in the number of recruiters that started reaching out to me. One of Meta's recruiters ended up reaching out directly via LinkedIn to me, asked me to apply, and started the interview process. Next, let's talk about the different rounds you can expect when interviewing at Meta. Meta's process is actually more streamlined than most people think. You start with a one-hour technical screen with two coding problems. If you pass that, you then move on to the on-site or final rounds, which in 2025 is still virtual. The on-site consists of four 45-minute rounds, two coding rounds, one system design or product architecture round, and one behavioral round. Some roles might have additional rounds, but for most engineering positions, it's these four. And as a heads up, for Meta, you can't actually execute and run your code for the typical coding rounds. You have to manually trace through your code to verify that it works. Meta is also starting to roll out interviews where you're allowed to use an AI assistant. The entire process from recruiter reach out to offer took a month for me. That's way faster than some other big tech companies like Google, but the intensity is higher. They pack more signal gathering into fewer rounds, so you gotta be prepared to really give it your all for each round. Now let's talk about compensation numbers because I know that's really what a lot of people want to know. Meta's compensation for senior engineers or E5 is an average of 508,000 total compensation. The breakdown typically looks something like this. Your base salary would be around 221K, equity would be 262K, and bonus would be 25.5K. Also, Meta still offers some of the best perks in tech. For example, free breakfast, lunch, dinner, comprehensive health coverage, a yearly wellness site, Happened, office shuttles, and so much more. Now that we've gotten the money talk out of the way, I'm gonna break down the interview process round by round in detail. First, we had the initial recruiter screen. It was about 30 minutes discussing my background, why I wanted to join Meta, and confirming some biographical information. The recruiter emphasized Meta's focus on moving fast and asked about my experience with production systems. Here, the recruiter will be listening for specific keywords, so make sure to talk about how your experiences fit into the job description. If you're not the best fit for the exact role the recruiter mentioned, you can even ask if they're willing to interview you for another role. The next round was a two question technical screen. For the technical screens, these were your standard leak code style coding challenges. I got two leak code hard questions. Meta definitely tends to give harder questions than some other big tech companies out there. So make sure you brush up on your data structures and algorithms fundamentals and do a lot of practice. Meta offers pretty typical languages for these questions, including Java, Python, C++, C Sharp, and TypeScript. Keep in mind that you won't be able to use things like autocomplete, syntax highlighting, or run your code in their notepad so make sure you practice manually stepping through your code and talking through test cases. If you pass the technical screen, then you'll move on to the on-site final round. The on-site consists of two coding rounds, one system design or product architecture round, and one behavioral round. The two coding rounds are going to be very similar to the initial technical screen. Again, because you won't be able to execute your code, practice thinking out loud while coding and manually walking through edge cases. Meta interviewers really value communication. Explaining why you're doing something is just as important as getting the right answer. Also, also be sure to work fast. Meta also values speed a lot too. For your design interview, you'll either get a standard system design question or a product architecture question. Depending on the specific role you're interviewing for, you'll most
most likely get product architecture if you're going for a more full stack or front end role and system design for a more back end role. While much of the preparation overlaps, there are some important differences between the two. So if you're not sure which version you'll get, make sure to double check with your recruiter before your interview. Meta uses Excaladraw, so familiarize yourself with that UI. The design interview dives deep into how you approach building complex systems or products, including the trade-offs behind your choices. This is meant to be a challenging, highly technical discussion, and the scope of questions can vary significantly. So for the system design interview, that would focus more on things like distributed systems, scalability, performance, and efficiency. You should expect to talk about data flow, fault tolerance, store strategies, and how to design systems that can handle large-scale traffic. For the product architecture design interview, that centers more on API design, usability, and overall utility. You'll likely discuss how to structure product features, design clean and consistent APIs, and think through user-facing trade-offs. When you're starting out in the interview for both cases, make sure to ask questions like, who are the primary users of the system? Are we optimizing for read-heavy or write-heavy workloads? What's the expected scale? Number of daily active users, peak QPS or data volume? Are there any specific geographic regions or latency targets to consider? What kind of data are we storing and how large are typical data records? And what are the main access patterns by user ID, timestamp, or another key? Also, make sure to keep your illities in mind. So for example, security, extensibility, availability, scalability, etc. And finally, last but not least, you'll get a behavioral round. Keep in mind that Meta is looking for self-awareness and growth mindset, not perfection. Use the STAR method religiously, situation, task, action, and results. So for S, give one or two sentences about the situation, what happened. For T, describe the task, what was your specific goal. For A, describe the actions you took to overcome the obstacles and complete your objective. And finally for R, talk about the tangible quantifiable results of the situation. How did it help the team or company? To prepare for this, Think through scenarios you've been through so you can have real life examples ready to go to answer those interviewers' questions. Here's my exact study plan for Meta and honestly, any FANG company. For weeks one and two, master the fundamentals. Study in depth these eight concepts. Big annotation, arrays, strings, hash tables, searching, sorting, recursion, and stacks. Meta tests these fundamentals hard. For weeks three to four, go on the lead code grind. Solve three problems daily, one easy, two medium, or hard. Time yourself strictly. Give about 15 minutes for easy, 20 for medium, and 35 for hard. Focus on common patterns like two-pointer, sliding window, BFS, DFS, and tree traversals. For weeks five and six, focus on system design. Pick one system per day and practice sketching it out using Excaladraw to diagram. You can start with classic meta scale prompts. So for example, design newsfeed, design messenger chat, design marketplace recommendations. For each design, cover the following. Requirement clarification, like user count, latency goal, fault tolerance, high level architecture, like what clients, services, databases, caches, and queues you use, core components like data models, API design, and consistency, trade-offs like cap choices, partition strategies and replication approach and then be sure to be ops topics like monitoring fault recovery and observability and finally deep dive into things like caching layers scaling reads and writes dealing with availability and load balancing to ace the system design interview i recommend the following resources rocking the system design interview hello world's youtube videos the designing data intensive applications book and finally meta's engineering blog videos give you a insight into how meta deals with this during week seven do a bunch of mock interviews this is crucial Crucial. Practice with other engineers, ideally ones that are also interviewing at Meta. You can use interview prep sites like Pramp or Interview.io or just borrow your friends. And for week eight, prep your behavioral stories. Prepare eight to 10 stories using the star format that we talked about earlier. You should have stories ready for conflict resolution, failure, ambiguity, and technical leadership. And to sum up, here are some key things I learned during the interview process that apply to any tech interview at a big company. First, recruiters are honestly your allies, not gatekeepers. Build relationships with them. They want you to succeed. Don't be afraid to ask questions or for clarification. Second, Meta really values iteration speed over perfection. They rather see three working solutions that you can improve over one perfect solution that you're still debugging. Third, cultural fit matters enormously. Meta's move fast and break things isn't just a slogan. It is honestly how they operate. If you prefer careful planning and stability, be honest about that mismatch. Finally, the market has shifted. Companies aren't desperate for any engineer hiring anymore. They want engineers who can demonstrate immediate impact. 
It's honestly an employer's market right now, so don't be afraid of rejection. This same exact prep strategy works for Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. I know because I've interviewed and gotten offers at all of them. Even though they have some differences in how they approach culture, so for example, Google has the Googleist interview and Amazon asks about Amazon leadership principles, the core preparation remains identical. If this helped you understand Meta's interview process, feel free to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. I'll be breaking down the interview process in more major tech companies in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.